starting off with acceleration, the hips are incredibly important. It's the biggest joint in the body. It's the powerhouse of the body. Uh, and we want to make sure to be able to create good shapes in our acceleration and to be able to really utilize the, the glutes, which is the most the strongest uh, muscle uh, when it's trained well in the body, has the biggest potential for strength. And acceleration is a lot more strength based than it is like high speed running is more velocity based, which I'll go into a little bit later on. Coordination, I've, I've seen firsthand, especially for combine preparation for improving someone's 30 meter by simply just um, coordinating the arms with the legs. So we want, when the left leg is driving up, we want, we want to be ripping that right elbow right back so we can get that um, drive through the shoulders and the hips. The, the hips actually and the shoulders connect um, diagonally and they're, they're in opposite. So if you think like my right shoulder, that's connected to the diagonal sling towards my left hip. So that's why when we raise that, that left knee and we, and we, and we raise that um, right arm, we get that momentum of that counter force when we rotate through and, and put force into the ground. You're generating more force through the through the body. And like I mentioned earlier, so we've got our different phases. And Derek Hansen, if you haven't Hansen, if you haven't seen his work, he's he's an, a sprinting uh, expert over in the states, and I love his work and um, dedicate a lot of my learnings from his research. Um, and essentially, the gym like I mentioned earlier, is more applicable to how we start, so our acceleration work, and that's because we spend more time on the ground per strike in our first three steps than when we're sprinting at max velocity. So think after about 20 to your 40 metre pace when you're already moving at speed, it's all about trying to maintain that momentum, so short, fast, uh, short, quick steps as fast as you can to be able to keep that momentum. You're not spending a lot of time on the ground, and we want to focus on getting stronger because that's your ceiling of max force production. The stronger you are, the more force you'll be able to produce, which means that you'll, you'll be able to um, break away for those first couple of steps and get to your peak velocity faster than someone who's weaker. And from our velocity point of view, we want to make sure we are practicing speed, and that's where intent is really important. So when we do flying efforts, you are truly working up to 90% of your max speed. Or when we're doing really hard accelerations, you bring you make sure that you're focusing on good technique, of course, but 100, your 100% intent intent is to move as fast as possible.